What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 19 tutorial. It has been a while, but today we're back with a brand new effect. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create this really cool animated scribble effect. So in the past, I've did many videos about scribble effect, whether it's using different kind of overlays in, you know, different clips and different footage. But today we're going to use something different that I haven't shown you guys before. In order to get these effects, I have included a link down in the description that you guys can download so right after this video is done you can go over to the page where you will have the file in front of you you can download it extract it use it winrar or winzip and then you are good to go and you will basically have the files so with that all the way guys let's go ahead and get started right after the intro <laughs> All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in a Vegas Pro 19, obviously. So if you download all the videos, you'll basically get all of these lines. What I did is I just have this one right here. So what I've did is I made a couple of variations of this line. So I rendered out six files for you guys that you can drag in. We have different colors. So the first one is blue. We have also green. We have orange. We have pink. We have red and we have yellow. This is going to give you a little bit more of a variety. So let's say that we're going to use this phone right here. So how this works is we're going to create a new video track on top of the phone track for each clip that we're going to use. So we're going to start off with the first line. So let's say that we're going to make this line appear right here across the edge of the phone. So what we're going to do is first we're going to line that up. So let's see what the line actually looks like. So as you can see, that looks really cool. It is very nice to highlight all kinds of stuff. Obviously, I'm using a phone, but if you're using like montages and stuff, you can make that go across your leg, for example, or just something else that is a straight line. And that can be actually both directions. It doesn't have to be horizontally because we can actually, you know, twist and shape this one how we like it in just a second. So right now, in order to see through this line, first of all, to remove the black, is we're not going to use a black chroma key because that's going to mess up the edges. So to make it transparent, obviously, you guys know how to do that you're going to go to the compositing mode on the left of the track of the clip and then we're going to place that one to screen which will make this line see through as you can see right here so now let's go and play it back and let's see what that clip looks like All right, so that is the line. So let's go and actually make this appear next to the phone. So we're gonna place our marker right here in the middle. That makes it a lot easier to see because then the line is in its full shape. So now how we're gonna do this is we're not gonna use the event pan crop icon because if we're gonna use that one, we're kinda gonna be limited in a way because if we're gonna twist it, it's going to be off shape and it's just going to cut off in weird places. To have the complete freedom is we're gonna go and use the track motion icon on the very left. So that's going to be able to make us zoom and shape this how we want it. So now that we have done that, we're going to first twist it until we have it on the right angle of the phone. So we're going to place this one exactly on the same direction as the screen is. And then we're going to place that one against the side. So as you notice right here on the top, it lines up perfectly, but then at the bottom, it's a little bit off. So then we're going to just keep adjusting this until it looks perfect. So let's play it back and let's see what it looks like so far. All right, guys, so as you notice, if I skip up a few frames, right here, everything looks solid until right here, the phone is moving, obviously, and then the line is standing still and it goes out of frame. So how we're going to fix that is we're going to use a little bit more keyframing, but this line is actually a little bit too slow. So instead of having this, I would actually have it maybe twice or even three times as fast. So how you speed this clip up is hold left control, then go stand on the edge of this clip until it says time stretch. And then we're going to drag this to the left. So let's see what that looks like. That's way better, but I actually like it a little bit faster. There we go. So that looks really, really cool. And that is also a little bit more time saving because the line is appearing less long. We don't have to mask as much. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move up a couple frames and then we're going to basically go back to the track motion icon. And then we're going to make sure that sync cursor is checked. So every single keyframe will follow or mark right here in the timeline. So let's move up a frame. And as you can see right here on the bottom, it already starts. So we're going to just align that right here with the edge. Then we're going to move up a frame and then see how much is needed. So moving up a couple frames, everything looks solid. Right here, it goes off a little bit. So I'm going to move this one a little bit more 
downwards like that it stays on the edge and we're gonna do that frame by frame and we're gonna make this a little time lapse guys because this can take about five to ten minutes and then we'll come back when this is all finished up All right, guys, so we made a couple keyframes. I actually had to pause it in between. So let's go and play it back and let's see what we have created. All right, guys, so as you can see, that looks really, really cool. Now it's following the actual phone and we can also make this even faster if you want to. Just like that. So now that we have the side right here also lighted up. But let's say that we want to have this color of this line with the blue one. Let's say that we want to have that matching with the colors right here you see on the phone where we have like green and like pink, reddish. So how you do that is go to video effects. We're going to drag on the color corrector secondary onto the clip. And we're going to basically change the rotation hue until it matches the color of one of these candles right here. So let's go and twist it. Let's pick that green one. So it's a little bit more noticeable. So I think this one comes pretty close. So now let's say that we want to have on the bottom of the phone, well on the right side, we can actually have the red candles right here. So what we're gonna do is if we're lucky, we can actually duplicate this track and then we can just move up the entire line that we have animated. So let's go to the track motion icon right here. And then let's go to the very beginning of the first frame where it starts and let's go and drag this one all the way over right here to the other side now obviously all the keyframes are not going to match because obviously the keyframe is positioned right here so that's going to move up to the left so we're going to delete these keyframes and then we're going to redo them real quick right now 12 seconds later all right guys so we're finished with that one but as you notice the color is actually the same as the left line so we're going to go back to the event pan crop icon of the right line we're going to go to the color corrector secondary menu we're going to change the rotation hue until it matches up with the red color i think this one comes pretty pretty close all right so let's go and play back and let's see what we have created as you can see guys that looks really really cool and the cool thing is that if you move this clip around your keyframes will also move along so if you want to have the red line appear later than the green one we can just drag that a little bit more to the right and then the green line will appear and then the red one so this is the final result All right, guys, so that is basically how to use this really cool animated scribble line effect. Now, obviously, there are tons of different kinds of, you know, scribble effects available. This is just one example. You have also like scribbles that are like swirling and going around in circles, but it's basically the same idea. You just have to animate it around your object, change the color a little bit, and that's how you do it. Don't forget to click the link down in the description if you want to get a hold of these lines. You can download them completely for free. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for the continued support, guys, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video.